Hello guys, I'm Yadagir Reddy and welcome to my channel HVI Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to use the data provider partially in Test Engine. So this is the agenda for today's session guys. So first we will see what is indices and why do we use the indices and then how to use the indices and also what happens if we don't use the indices. So these are the three points we are going to discuss inside this video. But before discussing any of these three points, first let's understand the topic itself. Why? Because the topic is little bit confusing, right? So when you look at the topic, you don't understand anything, what exactly it is, right? So first let's understand the topic, then we will see all these three points here, fine? So the topic is how to use the data provider partially in test engine. So what exactly a data provider's job is? A data provider will supply the data to the test method. So whatever the data that is present inside the data provider, that data will be supplied to the test method, right? So just like this. I'll just roughly write like this. So the data provider will supply the data to the test method. Am I correct? So here, whatever the data that is present inside the data provider, the entire data will go to the test method by default, right? So when you don't use the indices concept, by default, the entire data will go to the test method, right? So that is what we have already seen. So let me show you that. So here I have one basic test class, okay? Inside that I have one test method and one data provider. So inside the data provider, I have four sets of data. I have one single dimensional array, which has four sets of data. I am not using any concept of indices or anything. So this is the basic concept that we already discussed, right? So let me just execute this and let's see what is printed in the console. So I'm just using, I'm, I created this data provider and I'm using this data provider inside the test method one and I'm simply printing that value. So whatever the data that is coming from the data provider, I'm just printing that value. So let's see what is the output here run as test ng test. So if you see here, total test run are four and all the four values are printed in the console, right? That means the entire data provided data is sent to the test method. When you don't use the concept of indices, the entire test data will be sent to the test method guys. So now I want to use the indices. So by this time you already knew what is the indices concept is, right? So here I want to use the data provider, but I don't want to use the data provider entirely. I want to use the data provider's data partially. So what is meant by partially? So I'm not going to use the entire data, but I want to use a part of data provider data. A part of data provider data means few sets of data provider data, right? So a data provider will have multiple sets of data. And out of all those multiple sets of data, I want to use only few sets of data. So that is called as partially thing, right? So I want to use or I want to send the data provided data partially to the test method. So that is what we want to learn now. So now you understood the concept, right? So here in this video, we are going to learn how to send the partial data provided data to the test method. So till now we have learned how to pass the entire data provided data to, to the test method. But now we are going to pass only the partial data provided data guys. So this concept is very, very easy guys. And the video is also very small only. It is not a very big lengthy video. So don't worry, you will get everything easily understandable guys. So here I want to pass the data provided data partially, right? So for that, the test engine has introduced one concept called indices. So using this indices concept, we can send the data provided data partially to test method. So now what is indices? Indices are nothing but the indexes only. Indices are nothing but the indexes only of which data we need to actually pass. So let me just show you. So here I have created one array, right? So let me take only these three, these four values and I will show you with this only. So these are the four values I'm actually using, right? So let's consider this is my data provider, fine? So from this data provider, I want to only send Yadagiri and Rebecca to the test method. I don't want to send the entire data to the test method. So what do I need to do? I need to identify the indexes of the data that I want to actually pass. So what is the index for Yadagiri? The index for Yadagiri is zero. And what is the index for Rebecca? The index will be two, right? Because in the arrays, the index will always start from zero. So this will be zero, this will be one, and this will be two, and this will be three. So that is why zero comma two are the indexes that I actually want to pass to the test method. So these indexes are called as indices guys. 
so the indices is nothing but whatever the data you want to pass those data's indexes are called as indices next thing is why do we use the indices obviously to pass the partial data of the data provider to the test method we use the indices concept and then how to use the indices so we know how to pass the data now right i mean we want to pass the data like this like whatever the data that we want to pass that data's index values we need to note down that we know but how to use the indices concept here let's see so here this indices is one parameter inside the data provider annotation guys so this is the annotation right the data provider annotation so inside this this indices is the parameter so let's write that so let me just type indices and let me press control space so here you can see the indices is showing and it is accepting the integer array as the data right so why it is accepting integer array so as i mentioned we need to pass the index values right so everywhere whatever the array it is like it is a object array or either it is a integer array or either it is a string array or float array or double array so in any array the index value will be an integer value only and here we are not passing a single integer we are passing multiple integers right we are passing multiple index values so that is why we are accepting the data in the form of integer array fine and also you can see the text that is written here so it says which indices to run from this data provider that means what are the indices what are the index values that you want to actually pass to the test method those indexes you need to specify inside this one and here it also says default all that means if you don't provide the indices concept here by default all the values will be sent to the test method so that is what we have already seen right so if you don't pass the indices concept then all the values from this data provider will be sent to the test method and we can access all those values so indices equal so as this is a integer array we need to create the array guys so inside this array we need to pass the index values of the data that we want to actually pass so in this case i want to pass yadagiri and rebecca right so what is the index for yadagiri the index for yadagiri is 0 right 0 comma the index for rebecca is 2 so i am passing only yadagiri and rebecca to the test method guys so the remaining values will be obviously excluded so whatever the data that i want to pass those data's index values i am going to mention inside the indices parameter and then the remaining values will be simply excluded so let me save this and let me execute this program so this time i should get only two test runs and only yadagiri and rebecca should be printed in the console so you see total test run are two and here yadagiri and rebecca is printed guys so that means only part of the data that means partial data i am able to pass from the data provider so that is the concept of indices it's very very easy guys so here let me show you again so what is indices indices are nothing but the indexes of the data that we want to actually pass to the test method and then why do we use the indices we use the indices to pass the data provider's data partially and how to use the indices so this indices is a parameter inside the data provider so we need to add that parameter and assign the index values of the data that we want to actually pass and then what happens if we don't use the indices if you don't use the indices the entire data provided data will be supplied to the test method so you are not going to restrict anything and you are going to pass the entire data provided data to the test method if you don't use the indices concept so one more important question guys why do we actually use the indices here i mean in which scenarios in real world we are going to use the indices that doubt you may be having right so basically your data provider can have 100 sets of data let's say your data provider has 100 sets of data and unfortunately one or two tests are failing in this one so when you have 100 sets of data what will be the test run count test run count is also 100 right so out of these 100 test runs two test runs are failed so i want to closely observe these two test runs so let's say from this only for example here i have four data sets right so out of these four data sets yadagiri and rebecca is failing so i need to understand why this yadagiri and rebecca is actually failing right so why my test is failing for rebecca and yadagiri test data so that point i need to clearly understand right so for that i need to maybe debug the scenario or maybe i want to closely observe that so while executing i want to closely observe that 
But if I try to execute the data provider again without mentioning the indices concept, again all the four will be executed. So today I have only four, so it is easy to identify. But if I have 100 and out of 100, if I'm executing only two, I mean, if I want to observe only two, it is very difficult job, right? So we don't know at what point the two will be coming, right? So it is a very difficult job. And also you cannot delete the data provided data also. Just because you want to execute only Yadagiri and Rebecca, you cannot delete John and Smith here, right? Because you are doing the failure analysis. But in normal scenarios, you still require this data only, right? So that is why you cannot even delete this data. So in those scenarios, you are going to use the indices concept, guys. You are going to use the indices concept and you will specify the index values of the data that is actually failed. So only those two sets of data will be executed and you can closely monitor that one. And even you can easily, you know, debug that program also with only these two sets of data. So without touching the data provider's data, you are able to restrict the data that we are passing to the test method using this indices concept, guys. So that is about the indices concept, guys. I hope you understand this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.